everyone! So today is uh, episode 3 of uh, I Paint on Everything and today I have uh, a cheese platter and I am going to paint on that. The thing here is I want to paint only the inside and I do not want to paint the outside so I'll have to be careful and if I ever put a drop of paint uh, on the outside I think I'll just paint it black and that will be it. <laughs> um, so, I mixed my paints to be thicker than usual because I want uh, the nice sharp lines that I've been going through uh, lately and I decided to go with the, the complementary color contrast of blue and orange and uh, a little black just some lines of black in there uh, just to uh, separate everything I think it's going to look sharper with black make the colors pop uh, so yeah uh, the ratio paint to medium is about 30% heavy body paint to 70% uh, medium uh, the medium I use is GAC 800 I love it it's uh, super glossy once it dries and gives a nice super shiny finish to the painting so um, that's about it for now and I will zoom you in so we get started with that all right so I'll start by making little puddles Well, I'll have to paint it black. <laughs> Damn it! Now, oops, I will remove my glove, make sure to tilt it with clean hands, even though I made a splotch here and I'll still have to paint it black if I want to avoid dirtying it too much. And I will tilt the paint everywhere. Thank you. 
And here we go. That's my cheese platter. I'll have to varnish that, um, but I'll paint the board, well, the wood black uh, once that is dry. And um, I, I think you know how to paint something black, so I'm not sure I'll show that part on camera. It could be just a bit boring. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, it came out as I wanted it to came, come out. And um, just small black lines here and there just to make sure that the colors really pop. And I quite like this. And I quite like uh, the zigzag here that uh, was created by the movement of the paint. The paint has a lot of movement in it. Love. Um, that I kept some of the eyes, uh, pretty happy with the, the whole thing. Uh, the con color contrast uh, is pretty nice as well. Love that uh, cobalt blue U. Uh, it's wonderful, beautiful blue. Um, and the orange is pretty as well. It's a very nice mix together and I uh, can't wait for this to dry and finish it with uh, black paint uh, on the edges and a varnish. I think it will make it uh, look very nice, much nicer than it is now. It's a pretty cheap uh, cheese board. We'll keep it for ourselves after. Uh, we'll have a nice cheese board. We'll be able to brag about it. <laughs> so yeah, um, nice movement. Really cool. I uh, love it. Uh, thicker paint means sharp, nice lines, and that's what I got, and I'm uh, happy with that. Alright, so a uh, pretty interesting result. I should have maybe uh, put masking tape on the edges to avoid making a mess, but that's okay. I think. Uh, if I paint uh, the whole contour, the whole wood black, uh, it's going to make the middle pop a lot more and I think it's going to be even nicer. So, um, happy little accidents! <laughs> uh, other than that, I'm not sure it will, will be dry in time for me to uh, paint that coat of black in time for the picture in the outro. So, uh, what I'll do is um, uh, I'll try to put a picture as is in the intro if it's dry but not dry enough to paint uh, the contour and uh, I will put a picture on my social media um, when it's completely dry and done with the contour and I think uh, you can, well not I think, you can go check it out there if you want. Uh, the links are all in the description, and um, yeah, very happy with this, and on that note, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video, bye!